So a scientist strapped a camera to their toddler's head and used that to train AI on language and visual input. This demonstrated that AI can learn very much like a human child. And that Google engineer that was fired for saying AI had become sentient is not entirely wrong. And I'll explain. Dr. Vong of New York University did indeed strap a camera to his baby's head from around six months to two years. He then took that visual and auditory information and used it to train the AI. What he found is that yes, indeed, AI can learn the same way that a human child does through repetition. But what does that have to do with sentience? Well, I think the question of sentience is just as misguided as asking if a virus is alive. It depends on how you're talking about it. The most basic definition of sentience is the ability to perceive. So have some sensory input. In that regard, yeah, AI is sentient. It's able to take in sensory input, literally, in the case of, you know, the, the toddler. But another definition of sentience is the ability to feel. Now that makes it really complicated when people want to claim that single cells are conscious. They're not. The most basic definition of consciousness is the ability to perceive yourself while, yes, even fish pass the mirror test, where we see if an animal can recognize itself in a mirror, I think there is something more complicated about consciousness. And no, viruses are not technically alive. I think the real answer to these questions are that it doesn't matter. However we decide to assign these words, it's not going to change the nature of that critter or computer. I do, however, think it's very important for us to understand what people mean when they're using these very loaded terms. So I encourage you to ask people what they mean when they're using them.